What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV and as I'm sure you can probably tell, I am super excited today and that's because we have the brand new Nokia 3310s here in the house for an unboxing. Now a lot of you guys probably already know that I'm a huge fan of the Nokia 3310, so much so that I still have mine. And it's always been one of my favourite devices of all time because of its iconic design, the endless battery life and the very durable build, the fact that I've still got this is a statement to its durability. Now Nokia have reintroduced the 3310 17 years on from the original and we have two colors here, the dark blue as well as the gray. There's also the warm red and yellow available but I actually couldn't get hold of those. As you can imagine, the demand is very high. So let's go ahead and unbox these and I'll tell you a bit more about them. So we'll go with the dark blue version first mainly because the same items will be inside the box otherwise. Uh, you can see here we've got a nice retro design to fit with the retro Nokia 3310. There is the red version here on the image of the box and on the back here are some of the key features. There's a 2 megapixel camera with an LED flash, up to 21.1 hours talk time and 31 day standby. That is absolutely insane, so over a month of standby. Try doing that with one of the phones today. Snake preloaded, everybody loves Snake. There's the Opera Store for games and apps, FM radio, a micro SD card slot so you can expand the storage on this by up to 32 gigabytes and there is space for a micro SIM. So let's go ahead and get this open. So uh, maybe this knife is a bit too big for this particular unboxing, but anyway. The box is also very compact. There you go. And there is the phone. Wow, that feels very, very light. Let's put that to the side for just a second while we see what else we get in here. So firstly, we have the battery. This is 1200 mAh, which may seem kind of small, but with this device, it's gonna give you a lot of mileage. There's your power brick, which has a micro USB input. So that's really good. So that's quite universal. I'm sure we'll have lots lying around anyway. There's a quick guide here as well, which uh, you can go through if needed. And finally, we also get some headphones. That's impressive that we also get some headphones with this and you're gonna be able to use these to make calls as well. So that's everything that you get inside the box. Now let's have a look at the phone itself. So here is the phone and let's also unbox the gray version. There we go, magic. So let's go ahead and pop the battery in here. So this back is gonna clip off. And here you can also see that there is the space for the micro SD card as well as your SIM card. It's gonna be using a micro SIM card. So we'll put that in and let's snap it back on. There is that famous Nokia logo. I love that sound. Language setup automatic. Auto time update. We'll just uh, leave these all to standard. Yep, we'll accept that. And there we are. That was a very quick setup. Now looking around the phone, we've got a nice matte finish, which I do like. The red and the yellow actually have a bit more of a gloss finish. So depending on what you like, that will be the option that you can go for. Now, first impressions, this is very small and light, very compact. Still got the same design language to the previous model, but I think it's like half the thickness. You've got a 2.4 inch display, which is now color. So this is keeping up with the times here compared to what we had before, which was the monochrome. There's your number pad here, which supports the T9 predictive texting. I used to be an absolute boss at that, so fast. I'm sure I was one of the fastest at typing up messages using the T9 keyboard. There's a two shortcut side buttons here and you can also use those to answer and reject calls. But we have this uh, little toggle in the middle which is gonna let you go up, down, left, right and there's also your menu select button. At the top is the micro USB input. There's nothing on the left and right hand side. And at the bottom is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. This is something that not many of the recent devices have yet. So you're gonna be able to listen to your music and things on this which is definitely quite good. At the back is the two megapixel camera with the LED flash and then this seems like a speaker at the back here as well. Now looking at the color differences, I definitely like the blue a little bit better. In terms of your menu functions, very simple. It's using the Nokia series OS on here. So you've just got your menu and everything on here. The one key thing that I definitely want to check out is Snake. So now you have a color version of Snake. There you go. You can hear some of that music there. We can go ahead and play this. And now it's a little bit more improved so I have no idea how to do this. I'm, I'm gonna have to get used to it. I used to be absolutely awesome at Snake before, but obviously it's been a very long time 
since I've actually played it. So um, this is going to take me some time to get used to and I'll definitely be posting my high scores on Twitter. So guys, that is the Nokia 3310. Now obviously this is not intended to replace your smartphone, but if you're somebody like me who's a big fan of the Nokia 3310s, this is going to be a great secondary phone or something as a backup in case you run out of battery on your main phone and there are actually lots of people who don't want a smartphone they want something that's simple compact with great battery life that's going to allow them to keep in touch with their family and friends by calls and texts and this is going to be a great option for them i'm probably going to be picking one of these up for my mom and also if you've got children for example who are not ready yet for a smartphone but you still want to give them something that's not too expensive something that's durable that you're still going to be able to use to keep in touch with them. Once again, this is a great option and it's just for £50 in the UK, which I believe is actually cheaper than the original 3310 when I bought it. What do you guys think of the new Nokia 3310? Definitely drop me a comment below and let me know your thoughts. And if there's anything else that you'd like me to cover with the 3310s, then definitely also let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then please do hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help me out. And if you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe and switch on notifications. There's plenty more content coming up on here. I also want to take this opportunity to thank Nokia for sponsoring this video and more so for bringing back a huge part of my childhood thank you all guys for watching as well this is Saf on super Saf tv and i'll see you next time